Uh, hi, I'm Kirby Allison, uh, and I'm excited to be here inside John Lobb here in London uh, with uh, Jonathan Lobb. Jonathan, uh, thank you so much for inviting me in. So great to see you again, uh, and I'm so happy to be back here uh, in London. It's very, very wonderful to have you as well. Of course, on this channel, we've uh, spoken a lot about Lobb's rich, absolutely incredible history in bespoke shoe making mm -hmm. and bespoke uh, boot making. Uh, but also, uh, Lobb does a variety of bespoke leather goods. So I thought it'd be fun to pull a few of these and have you just kind of talk through uh, other ways that you're able to, um, you know, really craft things for your, for your clients. Hmm. Well, I mean, to a certain degree, the leather that we use for the leather goods is a byproduct of the shoes. And we buy a full skin. We use part of that skin for the shoes and the mm -hmm. remainder we'll use, if we can, we'll, we'll use it for leather goods. Yeah. Um, however, that said, our, our approach to leather goods is identical to our approach to shoemaking. Is that the, the wallets or the, or the belts are made by craftsmen who are skilled and trained mm -hmm. in those particular skills. Yeah. And the skills involved in making wallets and belts and leather goods is different from that of shoemaking and boot making. Mm -hmm. However, our approach to it is, is identical, that we're offering a bespoke service. And in the case of a belt, we're, we're sort of choosing the leather. We're taking the measurements. We're picking out the buckle. Yeah. In the case of a wallet, you know, sometimes we might be asked to replicate a wallet that someone's been using loyally for 20 years and they want you know they want the same exactly the same thing remade or we have standard wallets in stock which are a sort of classic size and mm -hmm. the classic proportions yeah so that, that we have all those options and possibilities yeah so a customer that comes in and buys a bespoke pair of shoes i mean is it uh, common that they would also commission a belt and a matching leather yeah it's not unusual i mean it's, as a as a dress option you you um See, matching the leather of your belt to your shoes is mm -hmm. ideal. It looks, looks, looks good. Yeah. yeah. So again, we have exotic skins. Um, mm, crocodile. This one has a brass buckle. It's a beautiful buckle. Yeah. We also have the, the classic lob. We have a standard classic lob buckle, which is a gold plated or a silver plated buckle. Okay. Um, see that a bit more expensive, but. Uh, the, uh, one of the features of them, a bit like shoes, they, if you plate something in gold, it, it lasts a very long time. Mm -hmm. So you're buying something which you will have probably in 15 to 20 yeah. years time. And it doesn't necessarily tarnish. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's a, a beautiful, mm -hmm. so this is a crocodile. That's right? crocodile, but that's a crocodile lined belt. And so is this a custom belt from a customer or? That was made, for, that is for a customer, yeah. Okay. And so how would this match the shoes? Well, the style of shoe he's having is actually a, what we call a saddle Oxford. So mm -hmm. it's not a completely crocodile shoe, but it has a crocodile saddle over the top. Kind of over the vamp? Over the vamp, and that yeah. saddle matches the belt. Oh. So it's a good good combination. Yeah, that's a exquisite. Um, what about this belt right here? Well, this is it's more casual. <clears throat> um, this is a hide belt. And again, the leather is used a lot in saddlery. Yeah, so, so this mostly, is bridle? That's bridle leather. Yeah. Again, it comes in various colors, black, walnut, tan, and traditionally it has a brass buckle, but again, you can wear it with a gold or mm -hmm. silver plated buckle. Yeah, wow, that's beautiful. And you know, I guess with bridal, bridal's known for its pluming, right? And you can see that on there, just simply brush it off, yeah, it right? Comes but off, it's comes a, off. kind of a sign of it's the quality of leather. It's incredibly hard wearing, and it's, uh, yeah. makes for a good Is belt. it a single piece of leather or is it lined and? The hide is a single. Yeah, yeah. okay, so this Most is Most of the crocodile single. smaller skins, it tends to be joined. Yeah. Um, it depends, again, you're, you, to a certain degree, we're, you know, we're making the best use of all the material yeah. that we have. So. Yeah. yeah. And so for someone that's interested in maybe having a, you know, bespoke John Lobb uh, wallet or uh, credit card case, do you need to be a bespoke client in order to commission something like that? <clears throat> or no, no, we can, you can purely come in and have a, have a card holder. Okay. But, I would say, well, there we go. but again, you will receive the same service that you would do if you were coming in yeah. to buy a pair of shoes. Okay, well, that's splendid. And then I guess, what is this? This is a box of, I guess, some different materials one yeah. could use. It's, well, it's nice to have options, you know, something for the more adventurous. adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then again, we go down to black. Common, but actually, most yeah. common, most commonly probably is the, is the uh, sort of that. Uh, yeah, this is a beautiful color. color. I would think that if I was to have yeah, a credit card a case made, that's a lovely color. This would be, mm. I'd probably have something like this made yeah. 
and that material. That's beautiful. Yeah, but like you know, the quality of when you use a good quality leather, like the leather we use for our shoes, you know, it really does wear well. And it age, you, know, you use a light color like that, you yeah. know, it ages. It ages yeah. very well. And is something like this hand stitched, or would it be machine stitched? It's machine stitched around yeah. there. Mm. Okay. And then you have you, you know, people put their initials in. They might personalize it. They will have our logo in, but they might have a have their initials mm -hmm. on the front, so it's uh, personal to them. Yeah. And I know you have a new website. It's a beautiful new website. Thank you. Um, are these on the website? Like, could someone go online and, and purchase these, like the stock model, and have it shipped? Uh, yes. Okay. I believe they can. It's very 21st century. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> <That's> exciting. <laughs> well, great. I mean, I've always seen these in the shop whenever I've come in. Never really had much yeah. of an opportunity to ask about them. Well, we don't. And, it's not that we don't promote them. They're a sort of additional extra, yeah. but they're, they're, you know, they are unique. And it's a well kept you know, little nice. secret that they're I. A sort of introduction to our firm yeah. and what we do. Yeah. Well, I remember one of the first things I bought whenever I came into Lob. Unfortunately, it was not a pair of shoes, mm -hmm. uh, but it was a jar of John Lob shoe polish and a polishing brush. Well, there you go. It's about all I could afford, but you know, at least it was something well, build it up. with that iconic John Lob <laughs> name on it. Uh, and I like to think that it kind of set me set me off in this direction. So, yeah. yeah, well, thank you so much. I mean, absolutely beautiful items. And, uh, you know, thank you for sharing these with us. That's right, Kirby. Yeah. Thank you.